In this video, we'll be talking about the mcrb command. The mcrb command will be used to delete buckets in your MinIO environments. The mcrb command removes one or more buckets on the MinIO or other S3 compatible services. To remove only the contents of the bucket, use the mcrm command that we covered in another video instead. Note that mcrb permanently deletes buckets on the target deployment, including any and all object versions, and bucket configurations such as lifecycle management or replication. So this is very destructive, so be careful when you're using mcrb. Here are some examples of the mcrb command. mcrb home folder local dir. This will delete a folder or directory on the local system. The next line, mcrb dash dash force my minnow my bucket will remove the bucket called my bucket. Lastly, mcrb dash dash force dash dash dangerous my minnow slash refers to the alias MyMinnow and will remove all buckets from that alias. So please use that with caution. As always, we recommend you follow along with the instructions in the documentation as these will be updated over time. We'll leave the links in the description for all of this stuff. Let's jump into some labs. So here we're in our lab environment and the first thing we'll do is see all of the buckets that we have on our MinIO1 alias. You can see that there are a number of buckets here. Let's go ahead and try to delete the test bucket one bucket. Note that this gave an error because there is actually contents in this bucket and this will not let you delete this bucket if there is something in there without using the force flag. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we have successfully deleted that bucket. Let's see what's left on here. So you can see that there are still a number of buckets here. And what if we want to delete all of the buckets in here? Note that if we try to run this command with just force, it's saying that we will delete all of the buckets in here and we have to use the dangerous flag in order for this to function properly. So let's go ahead and do that. And now you can see that this let us remove all of the buckets from our minio one alias. If we do an mcls minio one Note that there are no buckets here now. So use this with caution as it could get you into trouble if you are deleting something that you shouldn't because that will likely be unrecoverable. Hopefully this video has given you some ideas on how you can use the mcrb command to clean up some of the buckets in your min.io environments. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit us at min.io or to join a discussion, go over to slack.min.io. Thanks for watching.